So how did it say memory card? Oh, I came to court. There was some stuff in there that I didn't keep. Okay. So keep the land in All right. Tell me what we do with this. Compost. Okay, can somebody come over and just, you know, keep this on here and, and then just push down on it? I'm going to let you go ahead and actually do that. Peanut oil. All right. What? See Robert. Thank you for getting that cut. And then we'll take you this. Oh, how cool is this, Denise? You got some music going. <laughs> like shake it, like dance. Okay, while I'm doing this, I'm going to go to sometimes I have how to do a pomegranate. Who has not done a pomegranate? I want to see you do that. Okay. Now I'm taking the onion bag and I'm turning it inside out. Normally I use a Ziploc bag. Angela's a big shot girl. All right, now these go in here. This goes here. Oh, I was just like trying to make my we have like a trash section. Um, I was using like a tortilla bag. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or, yeah. How are you? Okay. We're gonna do a pomegranate. You wanna get a portion of and I can move to another section. Pomegranates will leave the reddest marks on your formica that you've ever seen, as well as the tumor. Put a towel on the table first before you start cutting it. It does leave a thing. So this is how you do a pomegranate. First we're going to cut this piece out here. We're going to pop it out. Then I'm going to cut it. And then we're going to pop all the seeds in here and then we're going to juice it. So everything. From the... Rooter to rooter to rooter. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. I'm going like this. Okay. You can do it in a triangle or a square. I wish I could grow pomegranates because I love them. Oh, I do too. God, they're wonderful. I would love to do that. So that's it. That's interesting. I've never seen anybody cut a pomegranate. Yeah. And you, you have to keep it because it does get kind of juicy. So then I'm going to cut it like this. Then I'm gonna cut it like this. This is a nice one. Look how uh -huh, big yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then you get yourself a Ziploc bag, or I'm gonna use this bag like here. And there's two ways to do this. If you don't have a juicer, put it in a Ziploc bag and get a rolling pin after you get all these in here. Mm -hmm. Close the Ziploc bag, run the rolling pin on it, cut in the bottom of the uh, Ziploc, and then squeeze out the juice. What? What? You wanna yeah. keep all that white stuff. There's a lot of uh, nutrition in that. So you wanna keep that. Oh, I'm glad you told me. I always okay. come on away. <laughs> so you're going to juice even the skin of it? Everything. No, I don't. The, the skin of the pomegranate is no, too hard. No, too hard. Okay. You can, but No, 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 no. Okay, like this it. is good. Okay. But like all the like rind? rind yeah, down. it's almost like the prim... Well, what's that? Um, persimmon or... Right. I don't like Well, that's like in, in all like citrus fruits that the, the white bitter part that's inside of the... The skin is like the, where all the vitamin C is, or yes. most of it at least is. And um, oh, the other thing is, is that if I need to stretch my juice, um, I buy this cranberry. It is concentrated. It's in a bottle. Um, you can get it at the uh, health food stores. It runs about nine, ten dollars a bottle. And um, if I run short, I just pour some of that in there to kind of give me a little more if I don't feel like I have time to do the juicing I need, but I need a full. Okay. Now you were just explaining about what you're doing with the bag here. What what are you? I, I, I'm, I I'm catching. It yeah, I'm catching all this. Now, if this was the Ziploc bag, and I didn't have a juicer, I would uh, close it off and take a rolling pin, okay. and okay. then I would yeah. just snip just a little bit in the corner and then squeeze out the juice. Yeah, no, that's, yeah that's smart. Well, that's that's nice. Yeah. So, uh, like, if you're on a trip or something, oh, that's a great idea. You don't idea. have a juicer. Um, but it was so, really good. so um, if you buy like the, like, if you go, if you go to Whole Foods and you buy like the palm pomegranate juice, is that pasteurized? 
I think anything that is in a bottle that has been sitting for yeah. a few yeah, hours. It's got yeah, to be yeah, pasteurized sure. in good, order yeah. to it's keep it sure. fresh. Yeah. But if that's the only choice you have and you're on the run, grab it. Mm -hmm. I've just never, I have a juicer, but I've never done pomegranate. Oh, it's a great idea. Pomegranate. Pomegranate are kind of a hassle to actually eat, but make mm, juice in there is awesome. You sit there trying to suck all the juice yeah. out of it. For sure. Okay. Very good. Look how much juice we're getting. Juice master. <laughs> so this this juice is gonna have a little more citrus than I uh, speak, but and also if you're trying to get someone to um, get into juicing, they're really not for it. You can always put a couple drops of agave in it. You know, to get them, you know, they may not be able to take it straight. Some people need to be baby stepped into it. And I have some people that have been doing this for a year, and when they first started, they were like, oh, this is horrible, this is terrible. But now they come and say, so yeah. <laughs> what happens is, you know when a person's on the line, as far as a juicer, when they say, you know, I've used up all my vegetables, I gotta go to the store. And you know it's like nine o'clock at night. <laughs> then you know it's starting to call their name. They've now really become more part of the process and they realize. I have a woman like that now. She, she started juicing. And she said, yeah, she says, I, I, gotta, I, can't, I gotta go. She says, I, I, I don't have any more spinach. I gotta get some spinach. Very good. Yeah, she juiced for the weekend. Yes. I gotta make some juice. I bought a bunch of vegetables. I haven't done it yet. I just gotta. Usually for me, <laughs> if I if I don't juice for two days, and that will happen time to time, oh my god, it's a big, uh, it, I, I can tell. I mean, it's almost like everything starts coming backwards on me because I'm not I'm not ready yet for that. I have to stay on it, you know. So now we just need to get the top for this. Looks good. Soak that all up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Make sure this is in here. I always put this plastic in the bottom here so that it'll catch all your pulp and you can throw it in the freezer and then use it for your compost. Can someone pull this up? Put your hand on top of here and then pull that lever on there. It'll be hard to pull. Push it hard. Push hard. Push. There you go. That's it. And then where's the uh, trunk? Okay. Are you going to do the messy or the easy? Yeah. So now we're going to, um, I'm going to let you start with the cucumbers. The yeah. no, cucumbers are kind of easy. They just kind of go in there. I also make this for a gargle. A gargle. I gargle with this too. <laughs> if you put it in your mouth and your mouth starts foaming, then you know you need to. So you <laughs> <laughs> that That's, oh my god, Jesus, oh my god. Okay, so this looks good. Thing off. We're gonna pop that in there. So the first thing you're gonna do is turn on. Is this still with Ari Garden? Yes. yes. Glad you made it. Hi. Oh my God! Woo. I mean, I have some in my bag that they gave me earlier. What, what, what kind of peppers are those? We'll have to, uh, There's a few kinds of peppers. Does I'm, it I'm really? I'm saying, like in general, that's like you know, it's, it's good. It's not. It doesn't really. It's not really hot. Make it spicy. I mean, if you don't like if you don't like spicy food at all, you probably shouldn't do it. But okay. like, I don't do it if my girlfriend's gonna drink the juice with me. Cause she doesn't um, like it. She doesn't like anything spicy, even mild. Yeah, but, no, I got you. Um, you know, if I'm making, 
if I'm making something that's gonna end up being like a couple quarts of juice, then it's not. You, know, you throw a habanero pepper in there, and it's not enough to make it really spicy. Just okay. It adds a little bit of heat to it. Okay. And it tastes it tastes really good with the the like more uh, savory flavor of green. I'm not a big spice person, so I yeah. I would try it, but I don't know. Yeah. I actually learned that from my a friend of mine who owns a juice bar in Philly, and he has a, a juice that he calls uh, lemon ginger blast. Another picture. You are saying that she had love for improv how she improvises. Uh, uh, high. 